Hello chess friends and welcome to his out of chess channel and welcome to really one of the most popular events in every chess here. Welcome to the speed chess championship in 2024 that you can follow now on chess.com. So this event is a bracket system. It's a knockout stage of 16 players. Uh, many great players are playing here. Hikaru Nakamura, Magnus Carlsen is here. Many top GMs are battling it out for the throne. Among them, believe me or not, also Hans Moke Niemann is here. I really love the fact that uh, chess.com invited Hans Niemann here into this event. I think everything will settle down finally after this drama uh, that we have witnessed between Hikaru, Magnus, uh, chess.com and Hans Moke Niemann. So I really it, I really think that it's a cool idea that uh, uh, Hans can play again in this uh, really important chess event like this. So uh, I wish him all of the best. But of course, I wish also that the best uh, player of this event uh, simply wins the whole thing. And you probably know the grip. You probably know the concept of uh, their matches uh, in the bracket system they have to play first of all 19 minutes of 5 plus 1 chess and then afterwards uh, 16 minutes of 3 plus 1 blitz chess again and then also uh, the last 30 minutes are 1 plus 1 bullet chess so 1 minute on the clock plus 1 second increment per move I think uh, the blitz chess championships always gave us mm, really, really much pleasure especially in the epic finals between Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura I think this were immortal immortal matches of chess.com so i've uh, sorted out first of all really cool game from the first uh, round of uh, the speed chess championship in 2024 we have here magnus carson against the lead one me uh, here Magnus we have to mention won his game against uh, Li Tuan Ming with a clear result after many games they played Magnus had 20 and a half points and uh, Li Tuan Ming only three and a half points which is really, really an epic epic performance again by Magnus but this game that, I wanted, game that I wanted to show is really spectacular because Magnus dared to pull off the immortal King's Gambit uh, with white pieces so let's dive now into the game let's see now how Magnus played a uh, beautiful opening from the romantic era of chess so with the white pieces here magnus open with the move e4 we have now uh, e5 by Li Tong Ming. we have now the move f4 the immortal king's gambit and now we have e takes f4 the king's gambit accepted which is really, really a good choice of course by black why shouldn't we take then we can of course also exploit this dark school weaknesses here magnus goes with knight to c3 going into uh, more positional ideas of um, of the vienna gambit because usually you want to play here knight to f instead of knight to c3 controlling first of all your h4 square but here after move knight to c3 uh late uh, one ming played now the move knight to c6 believe me or not here in this particular position actually it's the best way here to proceed with the very aggressive d5 and i wanted to show a little bit of opening theory here if you're maybe facing this position with the black pieces here d5 is a very very aggressive approach which unfortunately lit one ming missed here or maybe he wasn't familiar with the uh, the opening theory here after move knight to d5 queen to h4 can be played now you do you see the king gets a little bit exposed now you get the bishop into the game so black is playing here really an active but also aggressive game against the uh, white so now you can cover and now you play a calm knight to c6 allow here even the fork on c7 but now you simply step back the queen is not of course attacking the king you're perfectly fine here white can even grab the rook now but you can play now this line knight to e5 putting more pressure against this knight and now after something like queen to e1 trying finally maybe to trade off the queens then you have this one knight takes f3 if for instance g takes f3 then bishop to f3 deflect of course the king from the defense of the queen game over uh, here for white so after knight to f3 white is pretty much forced to play this line queen to h4 and now after knight to h4 g5 and maybe king to c8 you will get also this knight so the knight cannot escape so you will finally get it and then you continue the game with four minor pieces pieces against uh, the rook and two minor pieces also with a good good uh, progressive idea here maybe on this side of the board so i think uh, this is really the best approach here for black against uh, this line that magnus pulled off but here instead of this move uh d5 here um late one ming played now the move knight to c6 magnus continues now with the move d4 and actually as i said it becomes now uh, the vienna gambit uh, the so-called uh, max lange defense and now black has again several choices queen to h4 of course a good move here by black king to e2 and now d6 again a tiny little inaccuracy here by late one ming he didn't play again 
again the optimal line but there's so many so many dirty tricks there's so many dirty traps uh, in the king's gambit or vienna gambit um, that you cannot really study all of these openings by heart i think uh, uh, magnus used now the fact here that uh, it's a blitz game that you cannot really calculate everything but uh, here the best choice is simply to proceed with b6 and then after something like queen to d2 g5 and uh, you could be solid bishop to b7 and you continue the pressure here but okay here d6 uh, played by Li Tuan Ming now knight to f3 by Magnus bishop to g4 and now bishop takes f4 and you see uh, Magnus got again an equal game he continues now again still with his bishop here on the board he has now this pawn central control uh, here he has this e4 uh, d4 structure which is of course a mobile and dynamic pawn structure in the center of the board so continues uh, with a maybe even slightly better position for white although the king is stuck on e2 but uh, in one particular moment we'll finally get of course uh, the king very active so we have bishop to f3 um, by lit one ming and now magnus took now king takes f3 and now comes another critical moment of the game in which um, black didn't react correctly here knight of six play, was played by Li one ming and this is not a good continuation because you're actually taking the natural score for for the queen somewhere a better choice is to play here knight to e7 and then after something like g3 you have still this square to escape with your queen and you're continuing at least with some kind of a pressure on the f file maybe g5 could happen who knows but at least the queen is still active on the board but after uh, king chop 3 and knight chop 6 magnus played now the move g3 and you're pretty much forced now to go into this line where the queens are off the board white is continuing the game with the bishop pair continues now the game uh, also with two, this still uh, two mobile pawns in the center of the board so white has now the pawn central control uh, the bishops are very active it's not one of those positions in which the bishops are blocked out so from this point on i think the game simply becomes a one-way ticket but in one White's favor, of course. So we have now queenside calcing. Magnus simply attacks now uh, the pawn on f7. Look how the bishop pair is working here in a beautiful way. And now Li Tuan Ming played here a unnecessary again tactic seemingly good because of course what you're hoping for is after knight to e4 that you get maybe here to move d5 but magnus calculated everything in a good way uh, he has still a good attack against this pawn uh here black took magnus has now the fork against uh, both of these rooks and magnus in this tactical sequence simply won the exchange and i think uh, we can agree that this is simply game over here for black magnus is not losing this of course we keep plays now the move d5 knight to b4 and again another beautiful trick by magnus a3 if you pick up now this pawn then the knight gets trapped you don't have any good scores you will eventually have to give up uh, the knight for pawn on a3 but of course black is also not falling for this place now knight to a6 d6 by magnus for forcing now trades of bishops but of course uh late one mean is not uh interested plays now bishop to f6 and now knight to c7 here also by black rook to e1 occupying of course the open files with uh, both of these rooks knight to a8 bishop to e5 again trading off more pieces simplifying the game good choice here by magnus carlson g takes f6 rook to a7 now this other rook is coming into the game king steps back and now king to f7 rook to e8 and now king to h3 a6 rook takes f6 knight to a4 and after rook to f2 in this particular position uh lead one mean simply resign so great great performance by magnus carlson in the first round of uh, the speed chess championship in 2023 uh, uh, 24 pardon me uh, magnus played very very aggressively today gained 20 and a half points against uh, three and a half points by uh, lit one ming so crazy crazy performance again by magnus but everything will be cleared i think in the next couple of rounds when maybe magnus is meaning maxine vashila grab when maybe hikaru is meaning i don't know jan nepomneshi in the first round the uh, mbl who was i think very very uh very sharp in the last couple of events is playing against hans mok and iman so i think also very very interesting match for sure sure and i as i mentioned before i'm really glad that uh now the things between chess.com and hans mok and iman are, are settled that he can play now this event of course with um uh, some uh, supervision but uh i think it's fair again to give hans a new opportunity in the chess community so okay i hope that you enjoyed this king's gambit uh, this 
Vienna Gambit uh, by Magnus Carlsen, really, really aggressive approach. You see, it's so hard to see everything, so much uh, dirty stuff on the board. So we'll follow now this event for sure. If you uh, want to see some other uh, content here on my YouTube chess channel, check out our comment to chess games, but also my comment to chess games played by computers, where we analyze some AI games from Stockfish, Alpha Zero, Lila Zero, and many, many more. And if you like this content, hit the subscribe button. See you soon with some more videos. And what do we say in the end? Chess is the best, of course.